Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're setting up a Firefly 3 Docker container on a Ubuntu test server. Firefly 3 is a powerful self-hosted personal finance manager and it's a great tool to have. First, we're gonna download the necessary environment and Docker compose files. Then we customize the files and launch the container. It's pretty straightforward, so let's get to it. I already have Ubuntu and Docker installed on a test server. If you need assistance with installing those, check out my other videos where I cover the installation process. So first, let's jump over into my test server, open up my uh, telnet prompt. Test server, dash L to change the user. And then we need to switch over to where we're gonna store our Firefly 3 Docker container. Uh, I store everything in Docker, so then we just need to make a directory for it and then change into that directory. And now using the curl commands in the description below, we'll download the necessary files from the Firefly 3 repo. Should be for three files. And now the two environment files, we just need to rename those. We'll do that by simply just moving the files. And the period in front of the file name is making the file uh, hidden. So if you're not using ls-a, you won't see it. And now that we have our three files, we just need to make a few changes to each of them. Uh, first, we'll update the docker compose file. So sudo nano docker compose. And we're gonna change the port to something more suitable other than 80. We'll give it 8080. We're gonna change the database from a MariaDB to a MySQL. And then down below, we need to update the encryption key string. That has to be exactly 32 characters where it says replace me right here. Uh, the easiest way to do this is a password generator. Back over, let's open up a browser. Just search for a password generator. I'm gonna go with Norton here. Uh, to make this simple, we're gonna uncheck this punctuation box here. I've, I found some of the uh, special characters mess with the encryption process. So then we, just to make it easier, we'll just uncheck punctuation, crank this up to 32 and copy the password. And back over to our telnet session. We're going to uh, remove where it says replace me. And then paste in our password we just copied. And then that's it for the Docker Compose file. Go ahead and save this. Control X. Yes to save it. Enter to overwrite the file name. And then we just need to update the uh, environment file. sudo nano.env. And the first thing we can do is the app key. You see it right here at the top. And this just needs to be the same key you have in the password generator. And then we need to update the DB password inside this file. So if you control W for basically a find and we need a DB underscore password, it's all capital. And then just make this something uh, unique. Then control X, yes to save it. Enter to overwrite the file. And the last file we need to update is the uh, .db.environment nano db and we just need to update the same password here that we used in the environment file control x yes enter and now that we've updated all three files we can just do docker compose up and do a dash d for it to be detached and hit enter give it a little bit of time to download the necessary image files and to update the database and now that the volumes and containers have been created and started, you may need to give it a minute for the database to update. Uh, but otherwise, go over to your browser and browse over to your test server or to your ter server's URL. Use the port that you gave it in the Docker Compose file. And here we are. You can just go ahead and register a new account, enter your email address. and create a password. If you leave this box check, it has some list that it goes out and checks. 
and to make sure your password hasn't been stolen. I'm not going to check this because I used a simple password for this example. I'm going to go ahead and hit register. And that's it. Your Firefly 3 Docker container should be up and running. As always, if you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments or run into any issues, feel free to leave a comment below and I'll do my best to respond. And as always, thanks for watching.